Some time ago, you may remember that I made a silent wooden computer. At the moment, I'm in the process of making a Mark II version, and uh, I've been doing some experiments. One of the experiments was to put a CPU cooler onto a graphics card, and this is what that looks like. As you can see, it's huge in comparison. This is a GTX 460, an ASUS one, and uh, this is its old cooler. As you can see, there's a considerable difference in size. And that, for example, has only got three heat pipes, whereas this has got eight. It's huge, and uh, the fan on here can now be 120 millimeters rather than about 80. So there'll be a huge difference in the uh, silence, hopefully, and cooling performance. So the goal is for cooler temperatures at quieter, slower fan speeds. It's attached to the graphics card using some steel from the side of an old PSU. It's just had holes drilled into it and it just has been screwed uh, down onto the board. It's really simple but works well and is actually quite strong considering it's not an official mount for it. Um, but anyway, let's hook it up to my computer and uh, see how it performs. Okay, so now I've plugged the graphics card into the motherboard. As you can see, it's plugged in using a PCIe extension cord. And um, that's because the CPU cooler is so big that the expansion slots actually prevent the graphics card from being seated when it's on. So it's necessary, um, but it does perform quite well and there aren't any issues with it, so that's good. Um, at the back here we've got two fans. They're running at their minimum speed at the moment using this fan controller. And uh, this one's blowing air into the CPU cooler, making sure that the core temperature remains low. And this one is just blowing onto the voltage regulators and onto the RAM. Currently there are no heat sinks on the RAM, so uh, that's something to add later if this experiment goes well. As you can hear, it's very quiet. Um, the fans are actually running at their slowest speed, as I said, and I can't really hear them. I can hear the hard drives over here more than I can hear these fans. So they're the limiter at the moment, rather than the graphics card. And that might not be so amazing if it weren't that Fermark was maxing out the graphics card. Currently the graphics card is actually maxed out with making hardly any noise, uh, which is amazing. Okay, so we're four minutes in now, and as you can see, it rose to a peak of about 60 Celsius, and then I open my window and it's gone down a few degrees to about 58 Celsius, and it seems to be uh, running stable at that now and uh, the temperatures in the room, it's pretty hot in here, I think it's about 23 degrees. Um, so considering these fans are inaudible, that is an amazing performance. That's just amazing. I mean, I can't hear this now. Um, whereas before, with the old stock cooler, um, it would be whining quite a lot, the fan, and um, it, the temperatures would be about about 10 Celsius higher, so it's doing its job quite well. Okay, so one last thing we'll do is just increase the fan speed to maximum, so both will be running at full speed, and just see what temperatures we get. So, just increase the fan speeds. So as you can hear, it's considerably louder, um, but let's just watch the temperatures and see what happens. So temperatures seem to have stabilised at about 51 Celsius, which is about 20 Celsius cooler than when the graphics card had its original cooler on and had about the same amount of noise. So that's a really, really impressive result. So technically I could probably get a faster overclock, but I'm not really an overclocking guy and I just want silence. So. 
Uh, hopefully this method will allow me to achieve that and um, I'll probably make another video uh, when I have made some more progress. So uh, subscribe if you're interested and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!